Hi guys, it's Lizzie here. So today I'm going to show you a really quick and simple Pride inspired makeup tutorial. So there's a little bit of rainbow eyeliner and um, the rest is fairly sort of really easy going actually and quite quick to do if you're in a rush as I will be this year at Pride which I'll explain in a bit. So if you want to know how to recreate this look then just keep watching. Thank you. So the first things first is I'm going to take this contour shade from Sleek and just pop that in my crease. I'm going to use um, a slightly denser pencil brush than usual um, just so that it gives me a more intense colour payoff because we're not really going for any eyeshadow at least on the eye anyway and um, obviously in the brow there's a lot going on um, I figured we could overcompensate and go a bit more you know a bit more intense so I'm just using this one shade as always I'm going to blend it up into the start of my brow So I like that darkness in there, but obviously if that doesn't suit your eye shape or your style, you know, you can wing it out or whatever you prefer really. Now because it is a denser pencil brush, I do have a softer, fluffier brush to help me blend that out as well. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of that under the eye as well, also with my pencil brush. Now with this makeup look, what I have in mind is it being really quick and easy for Pride because um, basically I'm at work in the morning from like 8.45 until about 1 and um, at a salon so I just want to be able to know that I can get home and get my makeup on really quick so see everyone else is meeting a lot earlier like 10, 11 o'clock so I will have missed the parade which is fine uh, the parade always makes me cry anyway so most probably for the best um, and I can just quickly pop home, put this makeup on. So this is sort of like my trial for it. <laughs> I always trial my makeup for big events. Big events. Um, you know what I mean. I so rarely go out or do too much in this sort of vein. So, um, yeah. This seemed like a good excuse to wear some nice colours. Though very subtle and quick. Last year I did a full on rainbow eyeshadow eye makeup fading from one colour to the other across both my eyes and that was beautiful um, but it took a lot longer, loads of brushes were involved and it's not the sort of thing you can do really quick because there's so much blending. So this is basically as complicated as it gets in terms of blending. Sorted. Now for my eyeliners I'm using all these colours by NYX. Now I appreciate this is a lot and maybe you don't have all these colours, but you can mix them together. I've done that before on the back of my hand to make custom shades, like turning some of them a bit more pastely and things like that. Um, as long as you have the primary colours, you can, in theory, make all the others. Um, and you can make them darker by adding black. But I'm using all these because I have them all. Oh, he doesn't know what to focus on. And what I did on the other eyes, I split it into four. Because I have eight colours, I took every other colour of the rainbow um, for the first quarters, so I'll quickly do that. So what that was is these four as my like quarter colours, doing dots across a, across a quarter of the eye, and then in between them I did these four. So you can see they're the sort of colours that go in between those guys at the front, and I overlapped them with these ones. But um, it'll make more sense as I'm doing it. Now I'm going to take the red and do that a quarter of the way in. And then I took my yellow. Part of the reason I'm doing the dotty eyeliner is because I've had a lash lift. So as you might be able to see this side, my lashes are really straight up and it just makes doing winged eyeliner fairly tricky. And the other reason why I'm doing it in two halves with the first four colours and then the next four colours is because I want the colours to be able to dry before I do the next set. I don't want them sort of merging together in that way, like whilst they're wet. That was the green, and now we do the purple, my favourite. Now with the purple, because on the outside I did some dots going upwards to make a sort of wing shape. And this is the baseline of my wing, just check it matches the other side. So it's a bit steeper so I will lessen that. And because it's dots, you know, 
it doesn't really matter. Okay, so you should end up with something like that. I just made it a bit brighter as it seemed a bit dark. Um, but that already by itself is quite rainbowy. Am I in focus? Yeah, sort of. So what we're going to do now is take the second four shades and go sort of in between the colours. First up is the orange. Lime green. Bright blue. So Urban Decay's got a lot of liquid eyeliners um, that are very similar, and so does Kiko. They're quite nice and affordable. And then we're going Lavender. And the lavender is tricky, because you sort of want more definition in the point, and it is one of the lighter colours. Um, but that is okay, you can go back over with the darker purple. So we'll just get the darker purple and just do a few more dots. So we'll put the base of that wing to really define it. Now for my brows, um, like I've done before in a tutorial actually, I'm going to take Urban from Urban Decay Electric Palette and then this one, what's that called? Jilted. Um, and just mix those together for my brows. I'm going to start with Urban on the tail and then Jilted at the start. Now for this, what I did is I started just over halfway with Urban, which is one of my favourite eyeshadows ever. I will link below my top 10 favourite eyeshadows, as this is one of them, and also um, my first purple brow tutorial. It was literally these same two products, plus a coloured mascara, which I'm using again today. But with a um, really simple eye makeup. So I just trace this bottom line with it, like that, and then I trace the top of the brow from about the same point, curvy curve down. Now my eyebrows are naturally wonky, like this one is just more pointy than that one, and it is a bit annoying, but um, you know, it is what it is, they're just eyebrows, it doesn't matter. And then you want to fill that space in. I will always probably be dyeing my brows tonight, um, and I always use blue-black, which is generally the colour a beautician would use on your um, eyelashes, because it does have a blue, a, blue -hoo? What? a blue hue to it, which really makes your eyes pop, um, and because of that blueness, it doesn't generally get used on the brows, because no one wants blue brows, but I find when my hair's freshly dyed purple, it looks really nice. So it's only really subtly a bit blue, like if I'm in the sun, you'll see that's blue. Obviously, you could pair this look with just standard coloured brows. I just thought because the eye makeup was so simple, um, it'd be nice to have a bit more colour. So I'm just going to take this line a bit further across the start of the brow, like that. Now I'm taking Jilted and same brush, not bothered to clean it off or anything because we're mixing the colours together anyway. And we fill in the space. I'm then going to take this purple mascara from Kiko and just put that through my brows. Now the only problem is it's got a massive brush because it is for your eyes. Um, so I've just got to be really careful. Now anywhere where I've gone over, like just under here, I'm going to take a cotton bud. This is a nice pointed one. And remove that just gradually. And then redo my concealer. For that I'm going to take um, Strobe of Light from Bare Minerals. Okay, now the next thing I did was I put this lavender in my waterline, and for that I used two different gel eyeliners from Medusa's Makeup, which um, look like this, and it's in White Noise and Perplexed, or Perplexed or whatever, um, and it's the purple and the white. I just wanted a nice lavender soft shade. Again, okay, you could use black, but um, I wanted the overall colour to be purple, as I couldn't fit all the colours on my face too quickly. Now as always I'm going to use H&M's High and Mighty Mascara, I'm going to do that off camera. Right, so there's the eye makeup done. I'm just going to put some plumping lip gloss on because um, I don't know what I'm going to do with my lips yet but they are very dry and look a bit like shriveled. I mean, moisturiser is most really the thing to do but I don't know where that's gone. My hair just looks like a proper helmet because <laughs> so much of my skin is dyed. There's just no skin in between all this, like it's just purple all the way back there. But I was in a rush for pride. I didn't, I should have done it a day earlier. But there we go. 
I even set up a um, Amazon Prime account so I could get the hair dye the next day. I must remember to cancel that. Mmm, you're the kitten. Hello kitten. She does not want to be picked up. One last thing I did on my eyes is I took um, Perversion from Urban Decay and I just put that in the top waterline but I waited until the purple underneath had set so I'm just going to do that. Here's this fluffy one. This is Peppa. You've met Peppa lots. Um, she always comes and sits next to the chair when I'm filming. And she'll just sit there and cry or like rub against the chair until I stroke her. Mm, she's so cute. Um, what should we do? So I'm obviously going to contour using that same um, sleep on. I'm always so thorough with my sideburns to make sure that they don't get missed because there was one time I got my hair dyed black and um, actually she, the hairdresser convinced me to get dark brown because she was like, black doesn't see anyone. So I ended up with brown hair for a week before I then dyed it by myself, obviously. But she left out my sideburns so I had like ginger sideburns, brown hair and then I, I also black with purple streaks in um, and so I ended up with dark brown with like an off purpley, like plummy streaks, not like proper purple. And I was going to Sonosphere that week, so I just look ridiculous in all the photos in that with my brown, ginger and plum hair and not black and purple that I wanted. So it's too harsh, it'll make you look too pale. I am pale. I will always look pale. But anyway, that was years ago. I don't think Sonosphere really has come back to England since, um, but it was great from what I remember. So I've just taken a bit of this. Oh, Piggy's really rubbing against my legs. Do you love me, Piggy? Because I love you all. Please, Piggy. Hello. Whoop. Okay, you don't. Oh, oh, you don't like me. For my highlighter, I'm going to choose one from the Black Light Highlighter Palette from BH Cosmetics. I will take Illusion. She's back, she won't leave me alone. Illusion looks very pink here, like a pale pink, but it's got a very purple um, flash to it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. I don't know how people get their highlighter to be visible in videos because, or pictures or anything, because no one can see mine, ever. Oh, maybe. Can you see that? I have to like turn to look at the camera real quick and then I can't see what you can see because there's not actually a delay, so I just look like a nutter. But anyway, put loads of that on. I've got cat hair everywhere. So most people I know at Pride just put glitter here and here and I will most probably do that over the top once this is done. But I, I like this sort of like purpley base. Um, now... I don't really want purple down my nose, so I'm going to just lightly tap into strobe, which is the white one, and do that. So what I'm going to try on my lips is this Turn Up Lipstick from NYX, and it's a grey nude, and then Trip um, Diamond Crusher from Lime Crime. I will just sort of like blot off the rest of this lip gloss on my hand, wipe my hand somewhere. You could equally put a nude pencil underneath. So there we go guys, that's my makeup look complete. So it's relatively quick and simple to use. I appreciate it does take a lot of liquid eyeliners, but like I said, you can mix them up or you could use eyeshadows with a wet brush and pinpoint on the product, or um, you could use face paint. Just, you know, don't cry at the parade like I do every year, because you'll have, well, you'd then have rainbow tears, so it wouldn't be the worst. Um, so yeah. There we go. Thank you for watching and showing your support. If you like my style of videos, then please subscribe to my channel. It means then my videos can reach more people. And um, by liking the video, I know which ones you prefer, so I can make more videos in line with that. 
So I hope you have a lovely Pride wherever you are, whatever celebrations you are doing, and just know that it's a day where everyone can feel accepted and to be themselves and we make positive changes that hopefully one day we won't need this celebration, even though it's the best day ever, and um, it will just become something that is normalised absolutely everywhere. The reason that I cry all the time at the parade is because the floats go by that say things um, like which countries are still the death penalty and like the Orlando shootings um, last year and things like that and it just blows my mind that those sorts of things are still happening in this day and age. So pride is so important to celebrate diversity and being yourself and being proud of who you are. So um, I hope you all feel like that and if you if you don't you need any help with that then do reach out to people that can support you. Um, but I just wish you the best day and I hope everything is alright and I will look forward to seeing you soon in my next tutorial. I will link my last year's Pride video down um, underneath in the description box and um, yeah, I'll see you all soon. Take care, bye bye.